In this video, we're going to take a look at our experiment with our Mexican sage and to remind everybody what that experiment was. Uh, this was a potting soil versus vermiculite experiment. So we were using the same plants, same hormone treatment, um, but we used potting soil, which is a heavier mix and holds more water, and vermiculite, which is a lighter mix and holds way less water. From a visual inspection perspective, it looks like the, um, the plants in the potting soil are a little bit more vigorous. We've got a little bit more leaf growth, so maybe they do need a little bit higher moisture. We also have a little bit of flowering that's already starting to occur here. In the vermiculite, um, we've got a, a little bit of flowering that's starting to occur on this one. I see a couple of plants that have dried up, so maybe they didn't make it. Uh, but to really figure this out, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of dump this pot, the pots out into our bucket here, and then we'll count the number of plants that have rooted. Jump this off here. Oh, my sticks. Here we go. There's another one. And I can probably lift the rest of them out. There we go. Okay, so I've emptied out my vermiculite batch. Now let's go ahead and take a look at them. This one looks like it has callus but no roots, so we're going to toss it. This one has roots, roots, no roots. Roots. Oh, this one, look at that. It looks dead on the top, but it's actually rooting all the way down here at the bottom. This would be one that we're not going to waste time on propagating further, though. There's a side here. Okay. Roots. 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 Roots and roots. No roots. Roots. No roots. 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 Roots and roots. Okay, so here are how many have roots. We've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. We have fifteen of the vermiculite that have roots. And one, two, three, four, five. Good, that's exactly how many we were looking for. Five that do, well, okay, so we, we could count this one as rooted, right? It's just not a good propagule. So let's count it as rooted, and we'll say we have sixteen that rooted and four that did not for our vermiculite experiment. I'm still not going to propagate this one though, right? I'm going to toss it. I'm going to leave these out for just a second so I don't get them mixed up with the potting soil. Now we're going to dump the potting soil um, experiment, same way we did the other one. If you have a big, nice table, you can jump this all out and make a huge mess. It's always fun to do. Okay. You gotta be a little careful when you're doing this because the, the roots aren't that sturdy when they're coming out of the meristems, and so you may need to um, you may need to just be a little bit more careful in, in putting them out on a big flat table so that you're not breaking off all the roots. Okay, so look at this. This one had a flower, but it doesn't have any roots. And this one doesn't have any roots. This one is still growing on top, but no roots. This one, same thing, growing on top, no roots. This one's kind of cool. We've got this big etiolation spike that's coming up as a new branch. Still no roots, though. No roots. Uh, this one has a little bit of tiny root, but we're probably not going to propagate that because it's only a little bit. Uh, this is interesting. This one rooted all the way up here and left this big inner node with absolutely no roots. That's so funny. We'll count it as rooted though, because it definitely has lots of roots. No roots, no roots, uh, no roots, and again, more growth. Here's a little tiny root, but not that big, so we're probably not going to propagate it. Oh, look at that one. Now this has lots of roots. No roots, little roots, no roots, little roots. And another one that rooted a little bit higher up on the inner node here. Okay, so from this inspection, we have one two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven with no roots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven with roots, but only four that we're going to propagate versus the vermiculite. So look at that. Um, from a visual inspect inspection perspective, boy, that's such a hard thing to say. Um, it looked like from the tops that we had a lot more going on with the potting soil mix than we actually did. And so what's probably happening with that is that the water holding capacity of the potting soil is so high that the plant can just suck up moisture directly through its stem, possibly, this is just a hypothesis. Um, and so it's not putting its energy into growing those roots as much as something that feels the pressure of drying out. This is a really fascinating result and I hope you guys learned something cool from it.